Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to talk about Google and Gmail. Now, Google's browser is called Google Chrome, which I can open right here by double clicking the Google icon. My Google is set to open to the Google homepage, so this is what I see. The first thing you need to do is create an account if you haven't done that before. If you don't know how to do that, your instructor can help you, but it is pretty simple to walk right through it. You can just search for how to create a Google account, and it'll walk you right through how to do it. This icon right here shows how you're logged in. You can see that more than one person can be logged in at a time. There's me, there's a guest, and I could add another person. When you're using a public computer, it's really important that you sign out right here when you're done using the Google browser. If you don't, then the next person who opens that Google browser will be signed in as you, and they can access your email and everything that you've done on Google. So it's really important on a public computer, like the College and Career Readiness Center computers, that you sign out when you're done. But right now, you can see that I'm signed in. These nine dots right here that says Google Apps is called the waffle. And yours might look a little different depending on what you've used, but all your Google apps will be right here. And if you don't have them all, you can add more. Today, what I want to show you though, is I just want to walk you through Gmail. So once you've created a Google account, you'll automatically get a Gmail account. This is an email account run by Google. Here you can see, this is my inbox. And clearly I need to go through and read some emails and clean this out. Over here shows me where I'm located my inbox, drafts that I've started to write. These are folders that I've created, or they're called tags in Gmail. You can even start a Google-based meeting that's kind of like Zoom, but it's called a meet right here from your Gmail. So there's a lot you can do. To start a new email, you click Compose. Type in the email address of the person that you want to send an email to. Just making this one up, obviously. Type your subject. Type your email. And then you'll click send. Down here, you can format just like you would do on a word processing. You can change the font. You can change the size. You can bold, and you can even change the color. <laughs> I changed the highlighting instead of the color, the background, but that's okay. We'll change that back. You can make it into a bullet list. You can align things just like you would do in an email or in a word processing. You can attach a file. Click that. Pick the folder where your file is saved. Here's something I did for career explorations. Click open and it's attached. You can turn something into a link if you want them to click on it. Now it's a clickable link. There's emojis and you can insert files from your drive, which I'm gonna show you about drive in a little while, I think in another lesson or I can insert a photo. So there's all kinds of things that you can do within Gmail. In another lesson, you've learned how to write a professional email. So obviously this is not one and don't copy this. When you're ready to go, you click send and it sends your email. It's important that you check your Gmail account on a regular basis because your instructor is likely to email you when there's been a change or they need to send you something, especially if you're not able to come in on a regular basis. That's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next one.